Hello, welcome back to KT Simple Reviews. Today I'm going to be reviewing this Yasonic dish drying rack. I'm excited about this dish drying rack because it's going to make drying dishes a lot easier. I love that there's a large capacity. So when I'm hand washing dishes, I like to lay them out to dry while I'm finishing hand washing all the other dishes and I feel like I end up using one whole counter space over there and it just makes the whole counter wet and so it's like once I even get all of the dishes put away, I have to re-clean the counters after I'm done and it just adds a whole other job to the task of cleaning the kitchen. So I'm really excited about this. It's going to cut down on my cleaning time. Once I wash the dishes, I can just put them on this rack. I love that it's going to hold a lot. I love that the design of this dish drying rack is more heightened instead of lengthened, if that makes any sense. So let's go ahead and open this up and check it out and then I'm gonna show about how many dishes it can hold. Let me take everything out of this bag so we can see what we have to assemble. Now that I have this out of the bag, let's just go ahead and take apart all of these different pieces so we can see what we have to work with. And then we'll go ahead and assemble it. In all, this comes with nine different pieces, which is not a lot, and I don't see any small screws, so the assembly is gonna be really easy. I love that this has pictures on the instruction manual right here. So it just leaves no questions when you're setting this up. Let's start building it. So here we have it. It's completely put together. That only took a couple of minutes. No tools required, which was so nice. And I could do it myself, which is great. I just wanted to show you what some of these different parts can be used for. Obviously, you're gonna do what works best for you with the items that you have in your cupboard. But I wanted to show you, this is a upper area that would be perfect for smaller plates or bowls. And then these are little cup racks. There are four of them right here. There's room for larger dinner plates over in this area as well as bowls back here. This is curved more for bowls, so this would be ideal for bowls back here. And then in the very back, there is a cutting board section. So for anything large that just needs to kind of lean here and dry, this is not touching the ground, which is nice. And then over on this side, we have a silverware holder or utensil holder. And then there are slots here for things like long knives, like kitchen knives, chef's knives, things like that which I really like because I feel like when you have a large knife, it's you don't really wanna lay it across this whole space. It's gonna take up that whole space. It's just not as efficient. So I really like that you can fit knives in there. But if you don't want that, you can also just take that off and use this slot as well. And I do like that these are interchangeable so you can use whatever products that you'd like on here. You can switch this one to the other side depending on where you're gonna have this on your counter. I really like that you can take this off if you want to and you can hang it around back if you would like. That way you have more space for something larger to go right here. One of my favorite parts honestly about this is when I take this off, this is obviously going to catch all of the water right here. So when you're drying all your dishes, you put all your you put them all wet right here. So you just wash them. The water, you can tell, I don't know if you can see, but there are some lines that show where the water goes down this direction. So it's all tilted to this spot. And you can actually take this off. There's just a little cork, a little plug right there. And underneath of it is a little hole. And that hole leads to this downspout and you don't have to use this if you don't want to you can keep the plug in there and you can keep this spout shut and it's not going to get in the way of this sitting on your counter but when you want to use this you can really easily just pull out this spout and wherever your dish rack is sitting on your counter it's typically next to your sink but you could just put this so that this spout is going directly into the sink so you don't even have any pooling water here which is i mean that's so perfect i'm going to stack this with some dishes just so you get an idea of about how much this dish rack can hold I've gathered some dishes, definitely more dishes than we use for a regular dinner setting in a family of four, just to test the limit of this drying dish rack. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start filling it up. I'm gonna put cutting board back here. This can hold a lot more than just one cutting board. It can hold cooking sheets, whatever is around this size or just too large to fit in here. I'm gonna move on to doing my larger plates. So you can put plates wherever you would like, but I'm gonna go ahead and put them on top.
I really like that you can face these plates whatever direction. You can see I have the larger ones facing that direction and the smaller ones facing this direction. The top part does not have any specific direction that they have to go, which is nice. I'm just gonna put a couple of these plates down here. And this back section is for the bowls. You can see it just kind of has that bowl shape back here. And I like that you can line them up right in front of each other and there's still plenty of room for them to dry completely. Let's see how these mugs fit on here. Oh, nice. And obviously you can hang the mugs however you'd like. You can hang them like this. I'm just, I would probably hang them like this. And then the last thing that I wanna try here is I got the longest knife that I have. You can see this is really long and I'm going to put it in one of these slots over here. Oh, that is so perfect. Okay, that doesn't wobble at all. I don't even have to worry about that falling. Okay, this is so nice. You guys see how much this holds? Okay, I'm impressed. This is going to make washing the dishes and drying them so much easier and it's going to make so much less work for myself. So I am all for that. I'm gonna go ahead and put a link in the description down below so you can go check this one out yourself. If you found this review useful, please give this video a thumbs up and follow us for more. Thanks for watching, bye.